In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to go from this uh, Google Sheet that captures potential clients to this, an automatically sent personalized email. Now, if you're a technical JavaScript developer, you can do this with a language called AppScript that is included in your Google Workspace subscription. But if not, you're going to want to use a third party tool. And for this demo, I'm going to show you how to do this in relay.app, which I think is the easiest to use automation tool to power a workflow like this. By the way, it's also free. I'm of course biased because I, I work on it. Um, but I hope that after watching this video, you'll see that you can set something up like this in, in just a couple of minutes and it's actually really straightforward. So first you can navigate to relay.app. I already have an account, so I'm just going to log in, but you could click uh, start for free to create a free account with your Google account. Once you log in, you're going to create a new workflow. Every workflow starts with a trigger. And in this case, we want to trigger when a new row is added to that Google Sheet. So I'm going to type in Google Sheets, and then I can quickly see that the trigger new row added is the first one available. Once you've selected the new row added trigger, you need to select which sheet you're going to use. And in this case, I'm going to use this demo potential clients sheet that has a few columns, an email address, a first name, a last name, and a company name. And there you go. And I'm going to select the first tab. If you want, you could filter down to only a subset of the rows in the sheet. But in this case, I want to trigger an automated email for every single person that I add to that potential client's sheet. And you can see here in this little trigger preview box that we already have one row available in that sheet, which is the test row that I added before this demo. That's, that's me. After we've created the trigger, we're going to create a simple automation step, which is to send an email using Gmail. To do that, you're going to select add step. You can type Gmail. And again, the first option in the menu will be to send an email. The email address we're going to send to is pulled from that row in Google Sheets that triggered this workflow. And you see here, we make it really easy to select the email address because Relay.app detects that this first column, email, contains email addresses. We can then, uh, actually, let me look back <laughs> at the demo I'd written. Yep, I want the subject to be saying hi from relay.app and I want the body to be uh, hey Jacob uh, great to meet you at the event last week um, uh, et cetera et cetera but I actually don't want to just hard code Jacob I want to use the first name of whoever is in that spreadsheet row so if I click the little data selector in the bottom right you see I can reference the columns in that spreadsheet row. And in this case, I want to say hey to the first name. And then here I want to reference the company name. So this way the email will be dynamic and personalized to each individual. Now that's it. I've set up my trigger. I've set up my action. Let's test it. And in this case, I'm going to test it again with that same uh, email address, which is my own. And you can see in this testing view, you can see the information of the spreadsheet row that triggered the related app workflow. And then you can also see the details of the email that was sent. And if I pop over to Gmail, you'll be able to see that it correctly pulled in the name and the company name from the spreadsheet row. So now that I've tested it, the last step is to turn it on. And now every time I add a row to this potential client's spreadsheet, they will automatically get that personalized email. So it's super easy, no JavaScript, no app script, no coding required. Uh, it's a free tool. So check it out at relay.app and let me know if you have any feedback.